Hello, this is Anud, and welcome to a short video on how to create apps with HTML, CSS and JavaScript. I'm going to do this in the simplest way possible, without any complicated frameworks or external tools. But of course we do want our app to look good, so we will be using a framework for the user interface. Now to start off, what kind of app are we going to build? It's going to be a shopping list where we can add items and then read back later what we put on the list. And all we need to build this is just Chrome, our browser, and Visual Studio Code or any other code editor. So to start off with the user interface, I've chosen Onsen UI. The website is called onsen.io. We can click get started. Just go to download everything, go to the page with the distribution releases. We will be redirected to GitHub where we can download the zip file with the latest version. And then we can use this for our project. Now I'm going to go to the file explorer, create a new folder for our little app. Let's call it shopping app and then extract the zip file in this directory. We can get rid of the zip. And what do we have here? We have CSS, JavaScript, and some other files. Now we don't need this. Just the CSS and JavaScript will do fine. Let's rename this to Onsen. And then get started with our HTML. So in Visual Studio Code, I'm going to create a new file, which is basically already open, so that was not necessary. Save as, go to our folder, and save it as an HTML file. Let's just call it index. And close the other tab. Okay, now what we need to do is find a basis to work from. So I'm going to go back to the Onsen website, and instead of getting started, I am going to go to Docs and then JavaScript. And then there is some stuff about installing. Now, this is the page you really have to read. It's everything is here about how to develop an app using Onsen. Uh, to start out with, there's a basic page. Let's just copy this and paste it into our own HTML. And here we see the CSS and JavaScript being imported. Now the folder it's referencing is lib slash onsen. And we don't have a lib folder yet, so let's just create it instead of renaming these links. Let's call it lib, drag onsen in there. And then use Chrome to preview our little page. Like that. And it's still empty as you can see, but below here, there is some example code like this one with a toolbar. So let's grab that just for testing purposes. It's the ONS page element. So we can put it in the body. And now if we refresh, we will see a sort of title bar with some text below it. Now we can use Chrome to preview this if it were something like a mobile app running on a mobile device. To do this, you simply hit F12, Control Shift M for mobile, and then you can choose a device to preview it on like the Nexus 5 or the iPhone 6. It will look like this on iOS and like this on the Nexus. And as you can see, it's already starting to look like an app. So let's get rid of the Explorer for now. Go back to the Onsen website. Now there's plenty of stuff here on how to do things, but I already have a pretty good idea on what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to copy paste from the tutorials. If you hit the tutorials in the top navigation bar, then there are plenty of examples on how to do stuff like displaying lists, which would be nice for a shopping list, creating a navigation system, like for example, Simple navigation where you move from page to page, tab navigation with tabs at the bottom, or a side menu where you hit a button and then a menu will appear. So I'm going to grab this, all of this, and it's going into our body. Now 
And to get this working, we also need some JavaScript. So I am going to add a new file, copy and paste the JavaScript code, and save it as a JavaScript file. And let's call it app. And then all we need to do is import the app.js file in our own application. So let's do it at the bottom. And there we have our own JavaScript imported. So if we refresh this, then we have the menu with something sliding in. And then we can navigate through the pages. Now all of the pages are actually inside the HTML file in this uh, template element. So we can build our entire app in one HTML file. And we only need two pages, one for the list, and one for adding a new item to the list. So let's get rid of the other templates. Let's see, about, that we don't need about. So let's remove it. We can keep settings if we want. Let's just uh, rename it to add. So here we rename this to add.html and this, then this as well. When you hit this button, it will open this template and then we can get rid of the last one and there we have it now to get our little list we can go back to the tutorials page find the lists and here we have some examples of different list items we can use in our lists and the default is probably fine so let's add that Just grab this piece of HTML and then put it here instead of the paragraph. Let's preview our page. So here we can sort of see the beginning of a list of shopping items with some imagination. Maybe it would be nice to get rid of the header. We can just rename the, the app as it were from main to shopping list. So this already looks pretty nice, I guess. Now the last thing we need is a nice button that will direct us to the adding items form. And there is some nice stuff here. Let's see, I think the floating action button would be perfect. So you can see there will be a, a nice button at the bottom of the screen that you can click or tap with your finger. So let's grab that. and put it here as well at the bottom of the of the page oh my god i saw that i didn't close the list so my apologies of course i need to close the html element and let's hit shift alt f which will format our document of course the shortcut depends on the editor you're using if we preview it now we will have our list and a button at the bottom and to make the button open the add page, all we have to do is add an on-click event like the same that's here. So let's just copy that and add it to our floating action button. And now if we click the button, we will go to the add page, which is still called settings. So let's go and fix that one as well. Let's call it add item and then build a little form below it where we can enter text and the button to actually add the item. Let's create some space and go back to the tutorial for some input fields under form input and then grab this HTML, put it in our page and modify it until we get what we want. Now we don't need a password field the button is nice, but maybe we should call it add item. And also our JavaScript function, which does not yet exist, will be called add item. Here the float and placeholder can go. 
or even the modifier. Let's get rid of it all. Just call it item and then modify it a bit using CSS because if we check it now, it will be a bit small, so we can make it wider. Just give it a style and say width is 90%. And now it already looks better. Maybe we should also change this. So where is it? Right over there. Okay, and that's it for our basic user interface. Now, if you'd like to change the colors of this, you can use a theme editor on the Onsen website. Under samples, we have the CSS component sample. Let's go there. And we can actually use this to change all the colors. So for example, here we have the title bar and it's all here. And we can change it to, well, say we want it to be red. Maybe like this. And also the button in this color. And we also had our floating action button, of course. So that's supposed to be down here somewhere. Yep. So let's change it. And then we can just download the theme. And we get a small zip file with some CSS in there. And if we go to our own project to lib onsen CSS, then we also have these files, so we can just overwrite them. And then refresh our app, and there we have the new colors. So that's it for the basic user interface. In the next part, we will be adding functionality using WebSQL as a database. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I will see you again next time.